if I say no to this client, what happens if tomorrow my leads dry up? So linking into your your mentioning before about a pipeline, you know, pipeline being a a I guess a a, a, a pipeline of um, inquiries and leads and clients, you haven't yet converted to being a client yet, and so. Once you've got your marketing on point and you've got your sales conversations on point and you know who it is that you want to say yes to and who it is you want to say no to, you can create that more consistent lead flow, which will give you confidence that you can say no to these ones and yes to these ones. So it's kind of like a filtering process, isn't it, Anthony? Absolutely. I like to describe that as you've got your class A, your class B, your class C, and your, your class D clients. And as a business owner, you need you need to have a crystal clear understanding of what avatar is put in each, each different phase. Because if you don't know what your class A and B clients are, then you're constantly going to be attracting clients that are class C and D because you're not setting the right ex- expectations and you don't have a clear client avatar, that's going to flow over to your marketing because then we don't know how to market to attract more of our ideal clients and our ideal client avatars. So it's really important we have a good understanding of, of who do we want to serve? What are the type of jobs you want to serve? What's the profit on every single job we want to make? And, and, and what size of job can we actually handle right now, given the crew size and given the other jobs that we've got within our schedule? If we don't understand all of this, you're just going to be creating pipeline issues and you can end up working jobs where you're actually losing money, which we see far too often, don't we, Miranda? Absolutely. Um, you know, one of the keys that you mentioned there was, um, I think you mentioned it, I'm replaying it in my head. Did you mention it, knowing your numbers? There we go. If he didn't mention it, you'll think I'm right, he did mention it. Anyway, is knowing your numbers, knowing your numbers, which is knowing um, which jobs will bring you in the most profit, where the highest margins are, when you start breaking as you knowing your costs, you know your labor costs, you know the cost of delivering that job, and you're very, very clear on all of those numbers. So I think many business owners intuitively know where they're making the most profit, but many don't because what they'll do is look in their bank account and go, well, I've got revenue there. I've got money in my account, so therefore I must be making money. Now, uh, there is a amazing tool that I'd recommend that everyone listening to this um, downloads. It's completely free, very, very powerful, uh, and it's called the Profitable Pricing Calculator. So if you've not got your hands on that yet, then uh, I would recommend you jump into the Tradies and General Contractors Global free group. Uh, it is in there as a resource. Um, put it in there. If you can't find it, put your name in there and go, hey, could someone give me the profitable pricing calculator? Put a comment in there, something like that, and we will make sure we get that to you. What that does is help you to uh, know how to quote profitably on every single job. Really, really important. I thoroughly recommend you get that. So that's the key to knowing your numbers. So you know whether that job's profitable, which is one of the ways, uh, as we said before, you can filter those clients. 